In this video, we'll show you how to connect the Pylon Tech storage solution to the Costal PlentyCore Plus or PlentyCore BI inverters. Please note the instructions for intended use. To operate a battery system such as Pylon Tech Force H, install the Costal Smart Energy Meter beforehand. If you want to connect the Pylon Tech battery to a PlentyCore Plus, you will also need a corresponding activation code for battery activation. You can purchase this in the Costile Solar Electric web store and activate it via the Costile web server. In preparation, please also watch the training videos on the PlentyCore and the Costile Smart Energy Meter. During installation, you will need protective conductor cables and a suitable cable lug, a network cable or at least one CAT5e cable or better for the communication connection between PlentyCore and battery, a PV cable for the DC connection and a pair of Sunclix plugs from the PlentyCore accessories. Before you start installing the battery, please switch off all components of the PV system. Please install the battery system in accordance with the enclosed installation instructions. Please note that the length of the cable between the battery and PlentyCore must not exceed 10 meters. First align the base element of the battery, fix it to the ground with screws, and stack the individual modules on top of each other. Finish with the BMS management module. Fasten the individual modules together in the structure using retaining rails. Now connect the connection cables to the management module. Connect the protective conductor cable of the PE connection to the battery housing at the designated earthing point of the BMS. This connection is essential and must be made because there must be no potential difference between the potential rail of the PlentyCore and the battery. Now connect the communication cable to the PlentyCore to the corresponding RS485 slot on the battery. Use a LAN cable of at least class CAT5E for this. Now connect the other end of the cable to the Clip X601 on the PlentyCore. We recommend using a network cable of category CAT5E or better. Now connect the DC cable between the battery and the plenty core. Please use the two pairs of Sunclix connectors supplied for the connection to the plenty core. The Pylon Tech Force H battery system is now ready for operation in conjunction with the plenty core. Now switch on the Pylon Tech battery. To do this, flip the two fuse switches and press the start button. The system has now started up and initializes automatically. The Pylon Tech battery is immediately ready for use and has been pre-configured for quick commissioning. Start the plenty core by switching on the AC fuses. Open the plenty core web server via smartphone or tablet and enter the battery activation code if you're integrating a battery into the system for the first time. Now configure the battery functionality in the service menu of the web server. Finally set the DC isolator switch of your plenty core to position 1. The inverter now connects to the grid and the battery usage is ready for use and coordinated in the system. The last step is to set up the communication interface between the plenty core and Pylon Tech Force H. To do this, activate the display by briefly touching it and then press and hold the LED button on the battery management module for 10 seconds. Now select the PlentyCore protocol by briefly pressing the LED button three times and keep the button pressed for longer than two seconds to confirm the protocol. The communication between PlentyCore and Pylon Tech Force H is now permanently set up and activated.